we're going to look at number 57 on test number 9, the calculator version, uh, number 57. Uh, if you look at it, uh, we're taking a derivative of something that we were integrating from, and, and this is a definite integral. So we have limits of, integra of integration going on here. So we're taking a derivative of something that we're integrating. That means we're getting rid of the integral sign. And we're basically just looking at the function e to the t plus 2t dt, that function. So I've, I've already uh, worked it out for the sake of time because I'm on the, the little pad, the notepad, and it's kind of slow. So I'll just be following along uh, from off of the work that I've already done. So, all right, so here's the, here's where we started. We're taking a derivative of an integral from 0 to 2x of the function of e to the t plus 2t times the derivative of t dt. So we're testing it. So this, this derivative sign is a derivative d over dx takes away the integral, so I'm just left with the function e to the t plus 2t dt tested from 0 to 2x. So now this is just like we've been doing. This is basically the same stuff. We plug in uh, 2x in for t minus 0 in for t. So here we plugged in 2x. So now I'm going to have e to the 2x because that's t plus 2 times the t, which we said we're plugging in 2x for t. And all of that times the derivative of the t that we're plugging in, we're letting 2x uh, represent t. So the derivative of 2x is 2. Now I'm, somebody's asking, well, what happened to, the, to us plugging in for 0? Well, if I plug in for 0, yeah, I'm going to get e to the 0 plus 2 times 0. And that's going to give me some number. But when I take the derivative of 0, 0 is a constant. So the derivative of 0 is 0. So if I multiply 0 to all of this, it's going to basically disappear. So plugging in 0 for t, in this case, I end up with 0. So that's just basically minus 0 right here. Right? But I really didn't need that because subtracting zero from all of that is just going to leave what I had, right? So now it's just a matter of simplifying. So I'm multiplying two into everything. So two times this e to the two x is going to give me two e to the two x. Now this two times this two x is going to give me four x. But with this two, that's going to be distributed to each term on the inside, 4x plus 2x is going to give me 8x. So my final answer should be 2e to the 2x plus 8x. If I'm not mistaken, that was answer choice E.